welcome this is the energy vibration lazing for all the cancer sun moon and rising i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is third week of october 2016 where you're vibrating in the energy vibration of the devil but the energy vibration is the hurt element and we're changing that energy vibration at the end of the week and beginning on saturday with the hair energies it is a week of the fire energy supporting by the um, energy of the empress. So the devil is the energy of the week. But it's a wonderful week for you guys. Um, the energies are here. Um, it is uh, um, a fire week, but it's it vibrates with the energy vibrate. A uh, bright vibration of a lot of water element and what is so good is that the moon is here and it's your energy vibration so that is just so good because there's a lot of energies of water which is in this week for you cancers as i begin and i look at monday monday is extremely um good because on monday um this moon, which is good, this moon bring only you cancer people riches and abundancy. So on Monday, the moon is here and it's bringing you a lot of financial abundancy, a lot of um, uh, money. Um, and this is more of a, a monetary base. It's a, a more a financial base it's bringing you. Okay, so what you guys were doing is wonderful. The Wheel of Fortune is here. And this Wheel of Fortune is ending um, a situation with conflicts. And this is very good because um, the Wheel of Fortune is, is bringing an end to a con conflicting situation that has been going on in your life for a very long time. And it's bringing an end to it. As we look at Wednesday in the middle of the week, we have to do with something and information about a house situation is going to come about. Whenever the house is here, it can be your mighty I am present. It can be you as a person that is changing a negative pattern about yourself. And this can also come up when the house is here. It's like sometimes our guides and angels said, you know, sometimes you need to listen more than you're talking. Sometimes you need to vibrate on an eye level than what you're doing sometimes it is better not to fight back because your crab is sometimes it's better to just let go of things just like these negative patterns which our guides and angel could be bringing in which has to do with you your mighty i am self present is your house your ick your body and your soul okay so as we look at Thursday, what do we have here on Thursday? We have another moon in your energy. And this is just so wonderful because in this um, third week of October, the moon has been coming up. It is here and it has been extra coming up. And as I look, the, the moon is here three times for you guys. The moon is here three times for you guys. This is wonderful. You're no longer hanging in a hangman position. You're no longer hanging in limbo. What is happening to you is that you're moving out of that sort of an energy vibration. And the moon is changing your whole energy vibration, which is bringing you and cleansing your energy and your aura. And this is wonderful. On Friday, the hand has come to a negative situation in your life. If people were vibrating on a negative vibration, if you yourself were vibrating on a negative vibration, which you were jealous and you were lying and you were deceiving, that is going to come to an end. So maybe that is why you got that judgment call in the middle of the week and you decide not to vibrate in that negative pattern anymore. And you're going to try to change that and it's going to come to an end on friday i'm hoping for you cancers out there because i know you cancers you're always trying to get back at people but it's not good because what you do is just constantly creating karmas as i look at the weekend the zodiac energy um change from the earth energies to the hair energy um the devil is here on saturday expect um to hear that people have been talking about you and people have been discussing you and it's not very good okay this is just not very good there's going to be a lot of miscommunication and a lot of stuff going on on saturday on sunday um expect to connect with um a soulmate or a twin flame this is wonderful for you guys because the energy vibration is here and i am loving this for you guys because it's about time that you let go of negative energies and you also change your 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 pattern of doing things and bring in new energies 
your overall energies for you, um, for you, um, cancers, it is the Cavalera de Danera. This, it is the, um, Knight of Pentacles is coming in. So if you were looking for someone and you're a woman and you were looking for a man with financial support and backative, you're going to meet that man. The energy vibration is here for you. I want to say thank you for being here. Like, shares, and thumbs up this video. Hold on for the general readings. Welcome to the general readings for the week number 42. It is the 42 week of 2016 and it's the third week of, of October 2016. Remember, I'm supporting all the artists and painter. If you are also artist and painter yourself and you'd like to get your, um, get out your painting so that my people can um, be aware of who you are. You can always try Alina, um, Punt com and I am also supporting all artists and you can always mail me and ask me and I will do um, a, a profile of a month of you in my videos. Okay, it is the week number 42 and the energies that we have is from the um, energies that we have is chop wood. Whenever the energy of chop wood comes up, it is saying to you that you need to um, sit down, take a pen and paper and try and figure out what you want to do. You need to take the time off to connect with yourself. Your mighty, I am present. Um, when I go to chop wood is the time that I meditate. It's the time that you meditate and you connect. You are alone. You connect with your higher self. You look, you try to look at how you're planning. If there are questions that you don't know, journeys, ways that you don't know how to, you ask the universe at that time, your guides and angels, and they will give you the answer. So whenever the energy of chop wood comes in, that means it is saying, take the time off and connect with your spirit guides. As I look at the next energy, it is the horse king. And I love the horse king because the horse king always come to us to um, support us. And whenever he comes up, he's bringing an assistant, uh, assistant to us. So it, it can be in different ways because he brings assistant all you have to do is to ask these are wisdom the wisdom room and we never know these things but he always come as your ally and he helps you on your journey ahead so if you need assistance and control in anything in your life you can always call up on the horse um the horse um um the the horse king if you need that help as we look on we're looking at the map and the energy is saying wide open and what this week is saying to most of us is that the universe is wide open there is a wide open universe and whenever we connect with ourselves and we find out what is our true blueprint we find out that special thing that has has brought us to this universe at this time on this planet earth that special thing that we can use to help other people and not only other people but help ourselves too that is when you reach that point and you realize that you're living in a vast abundance universe and if you just open up yourself and connect and understand you will see the blessings that is going to come out the next energy that i have it is a woman with a heart in her hand whenever the energy of this woman comes up with a heart in her hand i always think about that woman that has such a big heart and so much love to give to humanity and Sometimes door the problems and the things that we are going through in our life, it is hard for us sometimes to open up our hearts to people who are um, around us. And what I want to say to each and every person out there, because each and every person vibrates with a higher 
um, a vibration of feminine, masculine and feminine. You need to nurture the feminine side of you. Ask the universal angel to um, merge your masculine and feminine energies together so that you can vibrate at a higher vibration level. This is wonderful. It's because we need to open up our hearts because we're coming to the end of a year, a end of a karma year. I know a lot of people has gone through the fire, the storm, the hurricane and everything. But the more we keep our hearts open and are not healing our heart chakra, we can never move on. We can never open up to the unconditional love that we were all born with. And this is the time. And it's going to be the beginning of Christmas. And some people are going to have different holidays before it reach up to Christmas. But open your hearts, especially to all these young people, these artists who are trying to get their work out there in each and every artwork. It triggers something in each and every one of us. And if you're an artist, if you're trying to work on small heart, whatever you're trying to work on, and you need a little help and support, mail us and send us your, your copy of your thing, and we will support you by giving you a month special of free publicity. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. And we'll talk next week. Namaste.